Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today is my May wrap up and June TBR and my god, May was such a good reading month for me guys. I finished six books and I'm currently reading two. So yeah, I have done pretty pretty well. But the first book that I want to mention, I already mentioned in my April wrap up, but I technically read 95% of this book in April and I finished it on the 1st of May. So I'm gonna still count it in this wrap up and I also counted it in my April wrap-up, so, you know, for the sake of mentioning it. And that book is Harry Potter and the Half-Love Prince by J.K. Rowling. But I'm just gonna quickly say it again, this is definitely not my favorite Harry Potter book. This is, I think, until so far my least favorite. It was still super good because I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Uh, I don't want the series to end, okay? I only have one book left. Then the next book that I read, well, it, it is a book, but it is a short story, and that is Kindred, I think that's how you pronounce it, Spirits by Rainbow Rowell. This was a short story about a girl who was super excited to go stand in the line for the premiere of The Force Awakens, the seventh Star Wars movie, and in that line for the premiere are only two other guys. She talks with them, and sh they get to know each other a bit better, it was cute, it was adorable, but it wasn't like my favorite story ever. I still gave it a 4 out of 5 stars though, but I think I might lower it down a little bit because it was cute, but it was just too short. I mean, it, it, if she would have written a lot more, this could have been even better. I don't think that this should have been a short story. So the third book that I finished this month was the book that I had to read for Dutch, and that is Joe Speedboat by Tommy Wienha. And yeah, I'm just happy that I finished this book. It was nice, but it's not like my favorite thing because it's literature so it's not something that I'd read for my pleasure, so I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. So after I read Joe's Speedboat, I just really wanted to read something for fun again, and I was in such a summery mood, so I picked up Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Morgan Matson, she did it again. You did it again, girl. I adored this book. It Mm, so good. Definitely in my top five books of the year until so far. So I absolutely had to give it a five out of five stars. I love reading from Amy's perspective, maybe even a little bit more than from Emily's perspective in Since You've Been Gone. Plus I loved Roger and I loved the trip that they went on. I just, mm, that was my favorite thing about this whole book, just going on this trip, getting to know the places, even though you don't really see it yourself. Well, there are pictures in this and playlists and all those kinds of things so you do can like imagine what their trip would be like. I think that my favorite parts were when they went to the Joshmite Park plus when they stayed at I think his name was Lu Shen like um the brother of Roger's ex-girlfriend like oh he was like my favorite side character I loved him so freaking much and if Morgan Matson would write a book about Lu Shen oh my, I would be so happy because his house and how he was just amazing the only thing that bothered me a little bit was just the ending and that's probably because of how sort of like open it was still so so good definitely go read this if this is on your TBR go put it up a little higher because it is so good. Plus, I'm even more proud of myself because I finally read City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I was so afraid to start this one after reading Amy and Roger's Epic Detour because I was like, this book was so amazing. I will probably have a book hangover. How am I ever going to enjoy this book? But it was so amazing. I read this baby within a week while having school. If I can do that, then I, just bless me because this is a 500 page book. Uh, it was a little hard for me to get into, even though I read the first 90 pages in a day. I feel like definitely after those 90 pages, you sort of get to know her writing style. You get to know a little bit of the character. She writes in such a fast-paced way, and I just had to get used to that because sometimes I was just a little bit like falling asleep, and then I was like, whoa, so much has happened, and I didn't even pay attention to it. But I loved the characters, especially when like this whole group of five is together, like Jace, Ella, Isabel, and Clary, and Simon. Like those five are amazing. Plus, I love Magnus. I gave this one, I think, a 4.25 out of five stars because it did just need to get into it a little bit, and sometimes it was just a little too fast-paced, and I would have liked a little bit more of like detail, but still. So, so good. Cannot wait to read all of her other books right now because after this one, I just put them all on my TBR. So the last book that I read was sort of more like a joke book that I read. So before I will tell you about the book, I just need to tell you a little story beforehand. So this month I made a NetGalley account because I was like hearing all these people 
uh, talking about books that they had to review for NetGalley. And I was like, what is NetGalley? That sounds interesting. I want to get free books. Mm -hmm. So I made an account and I was just, you know, going through it a little bit, getting to know the site. So I requested all of these books. And right now I have 10 books that I was approved for to read. So damn. I need to review all those books. And one of them, I was like, let's just do it. It is a children's graphic novel book and it is so freaking cute. And it is Narwhal, Unicorn of the Sea. And it was just, I read it in 20 minutes and I love the art style. And I think that if you have kids and I definitely don't, I'm 17, come on guys. This would be a great book. I read it and I gave it a four out of five stars. So those were the six books that I read in May. And now let's go on to my June TBR. So like I said in the beginning, I'm currently reading two Two books and the first book that I want to mention is You Know Me Well by Nina LaCour and David Levithan. I am like around 60% through this book and I'm quite disappointed. This was on my summer TBR plus most anticipated releases. I will leave a link to that video somewhere on the screen if you want to watch it. But I was like really excited to start this. It sounded pretty amazing. This book sounded very interesting. You followed this guy named Mark and this girl named Katie and they are both gay main characters. They have not really talk to each other even though they have been sitting next to each other in calc class for over a year and then on a sudden night when they go out to celebrate pride week in san francisco they meet each other at a bar and they want to help each other out with their relationships because mark is in love with his best friend and katie is in love with this girl that she has never met so until so far i've i'm just having a lot of issues with it i am enjoying it but I, the, you know it's not there, but I want to talk more about those when I have done my review of this book. So if I have uploaded that video, you can click right here on the book to see that review. Um, so yeah, I will leave it right here. But yeah, I will probably finish that book this weekend as well as this book that I have to read for Spanish and it is Por Amor a la Arte. I don't know if I said that correctly. I think it's like For the Love of Art translated and uh, yeah I just have to read this for a Spanish class and I'm not very excited to read it. But then I also need to read a book for French. Yeah I know all these books that I need to read for my classes always at the same time but I will be reading L'Etranger by Albert Camus I think is how you pronounce his name. I have no idea what this book is about. I just have to read it so yeah. Goodbye my lover. I think that I can add two more books to my TBR, but I also have this huge project coming up at the end of June that I have to do for school and I'm not very excited about it. I have to write a 50 page long essay about photosynthesis, so good for me. And the first book that I think I definitely need to read this month is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I don't want to read it, but I also do. I just have to finish the Harry Potter series before I go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter because that, I, I just need to do that. If I don't do that, what kind of Harry Potter fan am I? Excited to read this, but again, not because I don't want this to end. I'm gonna cry. The last book that I'm adding to my June TBR is In the Hope of Memories, and I don't really know the author's name, so it will be right here in the picture. But this book sounds very interesting, plus I have to review it for NetGalley. So I believe that this is about a girl who just recently passed away, and she made a sort of like treasure hunt or adventure throughout the city for her friends, and she made it with like her graffiti. And this book is definitely not well known, and I love that because, you know, you might find a hidden gem. So that was my May wrap up and June TBR. Let me know in the comments down below which books you have read and which books you are planning to read. You guys can follow me on Goodreads, Snapchat, and Instagram. I will leave links to those in the description down below as well as my email address. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!